Once you have created indexes, it is a good idea to save those indexes in your disk or in a vector database. Why? Because every time you query or you hit the API, you will have to pay for the number of calls that you make to the API and you will have to create those embeddings again. So you will just increase your cost. So it is a good idea to create this indexes and store it in your disk or in a vector database. And here we are going to see how we can save those indexes in our disk. First, we will create our LLM model. Then we will create indexing. Then we will save that indexing into our disk and then we will use it from our disk. Let's see how it works. Import OS from get pass import get pass from hugging face hub import login now I will create hugging face token and save it hf underscore token and then I will call this get pass press enter I will get my API keys from here I will just copy on this and I will paste it here next I am going to create LLM model I will write here from llama index dot LLMs dot hugging face import hugging face inference API press enter and then I will create LLM then I will call this hugging face inference API in this my first parameter is model name and then I will just copy this mixed fill model from here and paste it here and the next parameter is token I will assign this HF token here and then let us print this LLM model so we have this LLM model where we are using mixed fill model so this was our first step to create or I can even write all these steps here so step one is create LLM model step two create indexing step three store indexing in disk and then last step step four query your data using store index index so we have done this first step we have created this LLM model now let's create indexing okay before that we have to load text file on which we are going to do the indexing so step 2 is going to be load text file and then this is going to be step 3 step 4 and step 5 now let's load text file here load text file from llama index dot core import simple directory reader then I will make an object of this simple directory reader and save it in this variable reader inside this first parameter is input underscore files and in list I will pass call underscore sa dot txt and then I will make one variable documents and this will have reader dot load data 
and then I can print this documents. So I have loaded this text file here on which we are going to create indexes and also then query. Now third step is to create indexing. Let's do that. For that we will import vector store index from llama index dot core import vector store index and then I will make an object index and then I will call this vector store index and from this I will call the method from documents and inside this I will pass our documents that we have loaded and then embedding model so I will write here embed underscore model and to use hurry face embedding models we will use embed model is equal to local and then let us execute our code so this will create indexes and save this in this variable index so this is our third step and fourth step is now store this index in our disk so for that I will create a directory in my uh, I will create a folder in my directory not directory so I will create a folder in this directory here and for that and I will assign that in a variable persist underscore dir so this variable you have to create and the name should be as it is because this is going to be one of the parameter and then I will write here dot and let's say I want to name this as new underscore database underscore indexing so if I show you here I have this folder I have db underscore indexing so I am creating a new folder that is new underscore db underscore indexing and then to save this index I will call this index here and on this I will call the method storage context and then persist and then persist underscore dir so what what where I'm going to save this so I am going to save this in this new folder so I will just pass this persist dir here and let us execute our code and let's see if it creates this new folder here okay so it has just now created new database indexing so now our indexes are stored in this variable so what we have done created LLM model loaded a text file we have created indexing and we have also stored that indexing in our disk in that folder new underscore db underscore indexing and now comes the last step where we want to query this data or before that we will do one more steps store indexing and then now the step 5 is going to be load index from disk and then step 6 is going to be query your data using stored index so now we will load this indexing so that we can use it to query our data let's write here load indexing and then I will make a new variable index underscore new and then I will call this method and for that first I have to import some libraries that I will import it here first one is from llama index dot core import storage context and then load index from storage now I will call this method load index from storage 
and then I will pass this storage context and before that I have to build this storage context also so I will do that here storage context is nothing but first I will call this class storage context then from default and from where I want to call this so persist dir is equal to persist dir and once I have this so now here I, I will be loading this uh, indexing here so this variable I will load I, I will call here and then I will do the embeddings of this index file so I will write here embed underscore model and then this is local and let me execute this code so it says storage context is not defined because first I have to run this now I will call this now we are going to create a read reverb that will help us query our data so I will write here uh, for that first we will import vector index retriever I will write here from lama index dot core dot retriever so this video is very important because you are learning a lot of functionality in this video we are using retriever for the first time in this series import vector index retriever and then I will call I will create an object retriever and then I will call this vector index retriever inside this I will use index indexing I will use from index underscore new so this is the indexing that we are using that we are loading from our disk and then similarity underscore top care I, I will give it as 5 so I want to get 5 relevant documents for my answer and out of that the first one is going to be the most accurate one so now we have this retriever now let's uh, create a query engine that we will use to query our data so I will write here uh, first let me write query engine to query your data I will write here query underscore engine and then index underscore new we will be using this new indexing dot as query engine and then we have to pass LLM model here because whenever you want to use query engine you will need LLM model and then let me print this query engine so we have created this query engine this was the last step now let's ask question so and let's save the answer in the variable response then I will write this call this query engine from this the method query and my first question is who is the author So we already loaded this text file here and from this we are asking this question who is the author and it should return me Paul Graham. And let me print, print response and let me paste it here only in the next line. So it should return me Paul Graham. Okay, it has given me correct answer. Now, let me ask another question. I will just copy it from here and paste it here. Let's say I, I am asking, what is the essay about?
This is about Paul Graham's experiences with working on different projects, including writing and programming, and how he discovered the power of publishing essays online. He discusses how he started writing essays in the print era, but it wasn't until he started publishing them online and so on. So here also we got the correct answer here. So you see that how well our query engine is working with the indexes that we have stored and we have retrieved those indexes and we have used those indexes to create this query engine and from there we are getting this nice response. This is how you can, you can store your indexes in your disk and you can use it from your disk. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.